All right, good evening and welcome to Compline, prayer at the close of the day for this Saturday of the second week in Lent. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, so because it's Compline, we won't, we won't be reading the lessons we normally read. Uh, if you would like to catch up on those, the Old Testament lesson is Jeremiah chapter 5, verses 20 to 31. Romans chapter 3 verses 19 to 31 and Psalm 43 is the psalm of the day. But um, Compline is a different, um, it's a different office as they call it, an office of prayer. So it has its own scriptures to go with it. Um, so before we, before we jump into worship, though, I'd like us to take a moment and pray that God would help us to maintain our focus. Would you please pray with me? Bless us, O God, with a reverent sense of your presence, that we may be at peace and may worship you with all our mind and spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. <clears throat> and now let us confess our sins in the presence of God and of one another. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Please take a moment to reflect on your specific sins as we offer them up to our Savior. Holy and gracious God, we confess that we have sinned against you this day. Some of our sin we know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which we are ashamed. But some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore us that we may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, and in him we are forgiven. We rest now in his peace and rise in the morning to serve him. Amen. I'm going to read Psalm number four. This is one of the psalms appointed for today. Psalm four. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep, for only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Let us pray. Lord, you consoled your son in his anguish and released him from the darkness of the grave. Turn your face toward us, that we may sleep in your peace and rise in your light. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. 
Jesus says, Come to me, all whose work is hard, whose load is heavy, and I will give you rest. Bend your necks to my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble-hearted, and you will find rest. For my yoke is good to bear, my load is light. A reading from First Peter, the fifth chapter. Humble yourselves under God's mighty hand, and he will lift you up in due time. Cast all your cares on him, for you are his charge. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Visit our dwellings, O Lord, and drive from them all the snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, the hours both of night and day are yours, and to you the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night, especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in danger, and competence in emergencies. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And now may the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless us and keep us. Amen. That concludes our compline for this evening. Thank you for joining me for this for this brief worship time. Thank you for finishing your day with God and for giving back to him a little of the day he's given to you. Um, if you have uh, any prayer concerns that your brothers and sisters in the church can lift up for you, please share them with me and I will get them. Uh, to our prayer team um, but please know that there are plenty of members in our church who need our prayers right now so please keep them in your prayers even if you don't know who they are God does yeah. until we can be together again may God bless and keep you <laughs>